liked how she like never gave up on what she was doing. Because I mean, like, if you lived in Hampton, Virginia, and you were a black woman, lots of people probably would have gave up, but she didn't. She went through all of the challenges and struggles and actually became someone amazing. I think it teaches me that you can be whatever you want as long as you work hard and never give up on yourself. After finding out that this is the first school being named after an African American woman in Utah, I have hope in our future generations that they are, their eyes are actually open to the world around us. Their eyes are open to the background that we have as African Americans as a whole, as a community that even though out of my grandma that going through that in a segregated time that she still came out and that now it's showing the it's showing our community and it's showing our youth that even though we might be going through hard times as a community or as a country you still have to have hope you still have to have a goal and somewhere to go what an incredible honor it is for salt lake city for our entire community as we dedicate this place of learning we must remember it is our responsibility to live up to Mary W. Jackson's legacy.